Hey everybody, it's Jen Purdue from MyNams.com and the Novice to Advanced Marketing System and welcome on this fine early morning. I know we're getting an early start here today. If you guys will do me a quick favor and just let me know in the um, questions or the chat box that you can see us and hear the screen. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our very, very special guest who came out of retirement to help me with this training because this is his baby piece of software here. And that is David Purdue. So dad, thank you so much for being here today and, and jumping in and helping me with this training. Sure, sure. Uh, you know how much I love this and I love playing around in the software. So yeah, great. That's exactly why I wanted you here. <laughs> Well, so you, you want to go ahead and get started. You're running the slides here. And so I know you've got a couple things you want to talk about really quick, and then we'll just get right into the meat of all of this. Okay, so this is a little different. It is uh, Jennifer and I tag teaming, and we don't tag team all that much anymore. Uh, as you probably know, she uh, took over the business on January 1, uh, which was great. And, uh, and I went into retirement, and it has been a lot of fun. So uh, let's see. So this is how to profit, or how to, I'm sorry, how to eliminate profit leaks from your business with one simple tool. And so we'll start off, I just told you, Jennifer took over the business in January uh, 1, 2023. Jen, you wanna say anything about this? Being a business owner is much different than being an employee, I'll tell you that much right now. But it's been great. I tried to having... tell you that. What's that? I tried to tell you that. No, but it's been good. We've had we've we've been doing a lot of good things here and kind of changing the branding and and just kind of working on how uh, kind of my look and feel for the business. So that's yeah. going to be really interesting. But it's yep. been exciting and um. But I'm glad that you that you've been here to kind of help me with the transition into the software side of the business. Yep. And I will be. So that's good. All right. So then there is me, which I've been uh, actually I've, I've got a garden. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's the first time I've had a garden in about 40 years. So um, I'm Charles and I have been doing a lot of traveling and we're having a lot of fun. And so, you know, I miss the business. I miss uh, the things that go on in a daily uh, the daily grind, if you want, of the business. But it's more like daily ex excitement of the business. But I also love sitting on the porch. And that's what I'm doing a lot of these days. So um, this was not this 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 part of the uh, process of the transition of the business was not just a fluke. So Jennifer and I really worked on doing this transition over the last five years. And um, and it's gone pretty well. It was incredibly smooth and easy to do. So with that out of the way, let's jump into today's presentation, which is about identifying those profit leaks in your business and plugging those holes and preventing others from happening in the future. Now, Jen, do you want to say something about this? Because I know this is a big part of what you've been doing in your business uh, as well since uh, the beginning of the year. Uh -huh, you just called it my business. <laughs> that was a little bit exciting, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, that's been really the big thing I've been working through is, um, you know, as we've been going through all the branding or the rebranding, I should say, um, you guys, you know, I know I see a lot of you here on the call that know dad and have known dad for a really long time. And he is a prolific product creator. And I'm not. Um, I really like to stick with the fundamentals and the evergreen stuff. But that means that we really have to pay attention to our marketing and we have to go through and create marketing campaigns that are timely, but that are up to date. And so that's a lot of what we've been doing and making sure that we're able to promote and easily, um, what's the right word, easily uh, fix campaigns, I should say, or redirect campaigns to the right places that we want to go. Yeah. That really helps to increase your revenue when you can quickly and easily make those changes in your funnels. Yeah. Okay, so this is the big question we have for you today. Is your revenue disappearing? So you will notice over time that uh, what was working all of a sudden stops working. And there's a reason for that. And we're gonna talk about that and how you can, uh, how you can stop it. And so that's the focus of our entire uh, presentation today. So what is a profit leak first? Let's talk about that. You guys, um, you guys, if you have a business with an ongoing income stream, uh, you're going to pay attention because this will happen to you. It happens to everybody. It's degradation. 
of some of the stuff that's happening in your income stream. So a profit leak is a situation in a business where revenue is un, where revenue is unnecessarily lost or wasted, often without the business owner's awareness. And unlike sudden losses, like from a disaster or a recovery or a, um, you know, a, a launch that doesn't go well or whatever it is, uh, profit leaks often happen gradually and can be challenging to detect without careful analysis. <clears throat> Addressing profit leaks is essential for maximizing profitability and achieving financial sustainability. So there was a song that um, when I was a kid, we used to sing it was, um, Liza's got a hole in her bucket, a bucket, a buck, your bucket, Liza, you got a hole in your bucket. So this is a hole in your bucket is what we're talking about. And so when you have, um, when you have things that all of a sudden degrade and don't bring in the money that they used to bring in, it's time to just reevaluate because when you reevaluate, you're going to find things. And sometimes, well, we're going to talk about in a minute what those greatest causes of profit leaks are, but pretty easy to fix if you know how to do it. And if you don't have income streams yet, you're going to want to pay attention to this because when you build it right from the beginning, this is something you can fix for the rest of your business. And Jennifer, I know that you have been um, uh, so diligent about making sure that things when people click on stuff they're going to the right place that's the big deal for this right yeah and i'll tell you and i've said this you know in lots of different areas of the business training that we do when you have the opportunity getting started to set things up correctly from the get-go it's amazing you don't know how much time and this isn't anybody's fault it's what you what you know it's what's that saying what you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, and, cool. you know, when we got started, we didn't know this stuff. That's why it's so important for us to teach you guys this stuff. And, yeah. you know, I spent a lot of time trying to fix things because we didn't know in the very beginning. And so as a new business owner, I want you to really pay attention to this, especially uh, because you have a tendency to think, oh, my business isn't that big yet, or I'm not making sales yet, or I don't have a huge list. I don't need to do these things. Right. Mark my words, you will be kicking yourself when you have to go back and fix everything down the road once your business does get bigger and you start to scale. Yeah, so the last point here is the profit leaks kill your passive income and negate all your hard work. That's what Jen's talking about. Mm -hmm. Because if you're doing work today and you don't set it up properly in the beginning, you're gonna have to redo that work. And that's a big deal. A lot of money, a lot of time wasted. So the sources of profit leaks are uh, profit leaks are the simplest and sometimes the largest source is lost revenue from outdated or dead links. Now, outdated or dead links, those are the things that you click on and you end up at a 404 page or they go to uh, a place where they're not supposed to go. That can lead to lost traffic, inaccurate data, and ultimately lost revenue. And that's what this is all about, is lost revenue. You want to make sure that you don't lose any revenue from the work that you've already done. Simple Click Tracker offers targeted solutions to identify and address these profits, profit leaks, specifically in link tracking, redirection, and the management monitoring analysis area. So we have a lot of people on here who probably are already using the Simple Click Tracker um, uh, single site license because that is uh, something we give people in the insiders club and so this is the tool that we built and I'm going to tell you just quickly why we built this tool I was using a third-party service long ago paying on a monthly basis and I loved it now I went through the process of understanding from my mentor my first mentor that redirect links were a fundamental um, uh, tool that you used in your business. Now, a redirect link is any domain that people click on that points to a destination, right? So any link that you click on that points to a des destination. Now, the redirect links that I created initially were called Meta Refresh, and essentially that was a little piece of code that I had to put on a web page that did the redirect. And that was a manual, difficult process. But at the time, it was a brilliant business lesson that I was learning about, about redirects. This was like 15, 20 years ago. Um, then I went to this third-party tool that I was paying the monthly for, and I had a database and a management system and some analysis in it. 
they decided to completely rewrite that tool and redo everything and all the links that I had in there didn't work any longer. But I was able to actually out uh, export all of those links that I had set up uh, in that tool and I built this tool around all of that data. So we decided to build a tool that worked for us as marketers. And this is the tool that we've been using for about eight years now, longer than that, Jen, maybe 10 now. Yeah, maybe and, 10. Uh, and uh, we're on version 7.1 of this tool and we update this tool all the time with new features, new um, uh, maintenance things, with security issues, with all kinds of stuff that we update with and also feature requests from people. So. Uh, this is the tool that is the backbone of our business, which has, oops, sorry, Jen's business, which has <laughs> over 10,000 links in it that are maintained easily with this tool. Over 10,000 links just in the uh, MyNAMS installation. We have multiple installations of this. So SCT, I want you to pay attention to this as we go. All right. So the keys to plugging profit links, monitoring what's working and what's not working. So if something was working and it's not now, you want it to be to show up quickly and be able to deal with that quickly because the longer you wait, the more money you lose. Analysis, where are the holes in your bucket? And this, you have reports and opportunities in this tool to be able to find these holes quickly. We even have a 404 report. So you can actually download the 404 report and, uh, and, and, uh, and fix anything that goes to an error page. Then you have detection. Where is the leak? So this is for this tool and for any other system that you have in your uh, business um, arsenal. Um, detection is really important. Where are the issues? Where are the errors? You want to be able to find those quickly and, and those have to be uh, to, to show up quickly. Then you want to be able to correct them fast. So can that profit leak be fixed? I'm going to give you a couple of examples here of things that can and can't be fixed. Automation. Can all this be done automatically? Yes, it can. And our tool helps you do that. So this is what uh, a profit link from that a profit link. It's hard to say that profit leak uh, <laughs> from the link perspective uh, is it is called link rot. Now, this is a concept that's out there. If you look it up on, um, on Google, you're gonna get uh, a lot of information about link rot. And link rot is basic deterioration of your um, links. And it happens over time. So a URL becomes broken or dead. And they can become broken or dead for different reasons. And we're not gonna go into all of those reasons, but I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, the, first, the first indicator, of course, is a 404 page. Uh, the second is pages that are no longer relevant. And uh, and then the result of that, of course, is that all of a sudden you might be making $1,000 a month and with a, uh, a certain income stream or even $100 a month or less even with a certain income stream. And then all of a sudden you don't have that income anymore. Now, that would really happen uh, easily. And this is a good example of that. When you have an affiliate campaign embedded in your autoresponder system. Now, if you do really well with your email marketing and your autoresponder system, you have affiliate products in there that you like to promote. We promote designer and hosting and a bunch of tools that we like to promote in the NAMS business. And if, for example, Jen, let's use designer as an example. Designer is an ebook creator that we love. Um, and that is at nams.ws forward slash designer, D-E-S-I-G-N-R-R. -E now, designer, that is our redirect link to our affiliate link for designer. And they're on Thrivecart as their platform. If they change their platform, let's say to JVZoo, that destination link is going to change. And our revenue would drop like a rock. So if, it, if the revenue drops like a rock, all you have to do is go in and say, wait a minute, something's happened here. How do I fix this? Well, you go to your tool, which is SCT, and you just put in your new destination link. And all of a sudden you are back on track, money's flowing. So that's the way, that's what link rot is there. Let me give you another example of link rot that can't be fixed. 
So I was um, reading a book that I got from a really well-known uh, Kindle uh, book creator. And he referenced Marlon Sanders and one of Marlon's blog posts. And I love Marlon and I love Marlon's writing. And I like this guy too, who was, had written this book. And so the clickable link in Kindle, as I'm reading it, I decided I'll go over and see what Marlon had to say. So I clicked this link and it went to a 404 page. So what happened was, and Marlon had, this is not Marlon's fault at all. Marlon had redone some of his material in his blog. The link had changed. And the pointer from his ebook, which was the direct link, not a redirect link, it was the direct link, went to the 404 page. Because it was the direct link that used to be Marlon's blog post, it now um, was useless. His reputation goes down, all kinds of things happen because people who click on that link think, well, this book is outdated because this has to be old information, because this is a dead link, or he's very careless, or I'm not gonna pay attention to him. Uh, his, uh, his, um, uh, his information can't be that good. So it's really destructive, not only in the revenue collapse, but also in reputation. So you have to be really, really focused on this. Making sense so far, Jen? Yeah, and I wanna say something really quick about your first example with designer. Yeah. Um, you know, for us, because designer is a integral tool in our business, um, we have training on it. We have courses that we talk about designer within the course content itself, not just autoresponders or emails that go out promoting it. And right. so if you think about it, if I was using that raw link, that raw affiliate link from designer, and they decided to change their affiliate platform from Thrivecart to JDZoo, I can't even tell you how many places I would have to go manually update that link if we weren't using a redirect. It would have to, I mean, Dad, what do you think? It'd have to be in at least a hundred different places. At least, and there's no way to know where they where it is. I mean, right. it's just everywhere. Yep. And you want your links to be everywhere, right? But you want a link to be everywhere. Yep, and so the thing I love about it too, and this is a concept that's really hard for folks I get I, to get to wrap their mind around, I guess. When you're using a redirect and you've sent out an email, for example, or somebody's downloaded a PDF and it's sitting on their hard drive and your link destination changes, guess what? If you update your link in your redirect service, even that PDF that's sitting on their hard drive is now updated. That email you sent out a year ago is now updated. So this is why it's so important to focus on using redirect software, even as a new business owner, um, when you're getting all of the infrastructure. Absolutely, okay. So the most cause, the common causes of link rot are external changes. We just went through some of those. External website uh, URLs might change without uh, your knowledge. That's what happened with this, uh, this ebook, this Kindle book that I was reading. Uh, internal structural changes. If you change the URL of a landing page or remove a page, short links or redirects become dead links. Now that would happen if we decided, well, in fact, it did happen because one of the things that we do is we recreate sales pages. And when we recreate a sales page, we just make a copy of the old sales page and do an update to it. Now that's a change to the URL. And if we take that sales page and don't change it in our redirect, it will be uh, a dead link or an outdated link at best. So all we have to do is update the redirect that we've created for the sales page, and now it, it updates everywhere. So anything, it, well, what Jennifer just said, anytime we send a link or a piece of content out that has a, a sales page redirect on it, it's always gonna be the current sales page um, because we can change that destination always. Domain expiration. If a domain used with a link expires or is not renewed, the associated links will become broken. If you have a redirect and you see that you have a domain, and this happened to us, um, conversations s with dogs.com used to be a domain that we owned. Somehow I let that lapse. And so it did not go to where our redirect was. It went to a 404 page after that, or actually it went to a for sale which is even worse. 
that it went to a, um, a parked domain where it showed conversations for dogs uh, was a for sale uh, page. So we ended up having to uh, buy another domain, which was conversation with dogs, a niche site that we had with no S after conversation. And that became the new domain. So all we had to do was change our redirects then to that new domain. Um, so domain expiration can happen sometimes. Um, and if you have uh, redirects all set up, you can um, easily modify that. Mismanagement of redirects. Managing a large number of redirect links manually can be chaotic, leading to errors in redirects. So um, organization of your redirects, and I told you earlier, we have over 10,000 redirect links in uh, the NAM system. Uh, we could never ever manage each of those individually. So we have indicators that tell us when there's a bad link or when it's going to a 404 page or when it's a split test or when it is whatever um, on the dashboard. So you can actually sort by those indicators and, and uh, be able to um, um, change anything that looks bad. So it's just like a weekly or daily, or, or if you've got somebody on your staff, if you're a bigger business and you've got somebody on your staff, that can be one of their daily routines is they just look at, see, at daily and see, do I have any link issues? And you just sort by bad links. And actually, I really wanted to give a quick um, example of this because it happened to us not two months ago. And it was shocking how quickly we were able to figure it out because of our simple click tracker, um analysis dashboard that is yeah. is in our main dashboard dad calls me and he says hey i just logged in and you got something going on i think you're getting hit by bots because your traffic spiked we'd have like twenty thousand clicks in like a 24-hour period and so of course everybody's on alert right everybody starts looking are we are we getting you know is it a dds attack is it our dos attack is it what's going on and what we found out quickly it only took us about 15 minutes to figure it out was that we had um, a timer on a page that was redirecting to another page and it got stuck in pretty much an um in an loop. Infinite loop and the page just kept refreshing kept refreshing but it was one of our main recurring product sales pages. If we had not figured that out quickly, you know, think about how much revenue we could have lost for one of our main membership programs that we offer that we have autoresponders set up and ads set up, email campaigns, you know, it's just crazy. And so being able to quickly identify where you've got your problems is really key to making sure that you don't lose revenue. Yeah. Now, I'll also tell you um, one of the things that came out of that was real world experience. Right. So we went to our developer and said, listen, we want an indicator when something goes out of whack fast. Send us a text or not a text. Send us a message, uh, a little pop up message in the dashboard that says this is out of your normal parameters. So if something is getting a 10,000% increase in traffic, we want to know about it. Doesn't stop it until you fix it, but we want to know about it. So you get an indicator right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how LinkRock impacts your users, frustration and, and distrust, dead links or irrelevant pages ca can cause frustration, loss of engagement, links that go to 404 or unexpected content causes users to abandon the site which decreases time on the site and lowers the conversion rates this has an seo impact too which we're going to get to in a minute um, damaged brand image broken links can make a site appear careless or outdated damaging the brand image and reputation uh, inefficient customer journey broken links disrupt the customer journey resulting in a lost sale now that's probably one of the most important right there but the brand and the um, uh, reputation is really an issue here. So if you look at the SEO impacts, broken links signals to search engines that the website is not being properly maintained, which lowers the rankings. Uh, lost backlinks, pro uh, profit leaks occur when monetized links are not properly managed, leading to lost revenue, which affects conversions and SEO performance. Uh, decreased user engagement. Before we go to that one, I just thought on the lost backlinks, a lot of that comes from your promotion partners, mm -hmm. right? So if your promotion partner is sending links from their site to you, 
you want to make sure that those are being tagged from their site to yours through your redirect links. And if those redirect links are bad, you're not going to get that backlink from your promotion partners. And the number of backlinks that are relevant always increase SEO performance. So that this is why it's important to always keep these up to date. So the decreased user engagement increases the bounce rates. We just talked about that a little bit. And that uh, decreased time spent on the site because of the link rot, um, that will cause the search engines to lower your rankings again. Uh, link equity. Broken links cause the loss of link equity or the SEO value passed from one page to the, to the affecting uh, page's ability to rank well. Link equity is often measured in uh, domain authority kind of uh, numbers. And so that shows up as real numbers, which goes into the algorithm that search engines uses. Uh, impact on indexing. Search engine crawlers rely on links to discover and index new content. Broken links make it harder for new content to be found and indexed. Damaged reputation with affiliates, boy, you want some um, bad news in your business, um, crush your reputation with your affiliates and they will disappear like cockroaches when the light goes on. Uh, inability to measure and optimize. Profit leaks occur when without proper tracking and, um, and it's challenging to understand which links are performing well and why, unless you do the, the measuring and the optimization. Now with 10,000 links, we want to be able to see which links are getting the most traffic, uh, the most attention, uh, and focus on those. And um, if we have time today, I'll show you a little bit of a trick that we use with the grouping of our links to improve the blog content that we use on our sites. Mobile user experience. Broken links affect mobile user experience. Poor mobile performance leads to penalties from search engines affecting SEO because mobile is essential to SEO these days. So redirect links, plug, profit, leaks. Well, I made these things hard to say. That is incredible. Uh, a redirect link is a URL that automatically sends visitors to a different location to prevent leaks when changing URLs. We talked about that a little bit. Tracking and analytics. Redirect links can include tracking codes that provide information. Uh, the simple click tracker tool actually allows you to include UTM tracking. Now, today it's called, uh, what is it, GA4, Jen? That's mm -hmm. the new tracking that we're using is uh, GA4 UTM. But you can add that into your links uh, in the back end of uh, simple click tracker and actually get your analytics, your Google analytics connected and get great information that way as well. Yeah, I want to tell somebody, I want to tell everybody really quick just to quickly a test that I've been doing. I've got two people that have been doing social media for me and we wanted to see whose content was performing better. So what do you think we did? We had, you know, person A was creating their content using their system of creating redirect links, which were in a group in our simple click tracker dashboard. Person B was creating new content using different links. And I was able to quickly look side by side comparison to see whose content was creating more engagement for us and driving more leads and therefore more revenue because I could do the simple comparison using the UTM codes. So we knew exactly which content was bringing in um, uh, new users or new prospects into our business. So this is something I just want to make sure that we don't really glaze over here because you can make such better wait that's not even grammatically correct you can make better informed decisions about your marketing and where you're going to put your time where you're going to put your efforts and your dollars when you're able to track every single item that you're putting out there especially well that improves your expenses too because if you know one person is is performing better than the other person um you know you've put that other person on something that they do better instead of yeah right so yeah okay uh, shortening URLs. Redirects can be used to create shorter, more user-friendly URLs that are easy to share. With Simple Click Tracker, we created uh, we create most of our links on a, um, a short URL that we purchased and loaded and set up as a, a short URL only, and you can do that with Simple Click Tracker, uh, and it's nams.ws. So anytime you see something, and and this is great because even our um, uh, even our best customers know what our affiliate links are because they know they're going to start with nams.ws. 
So people know that if they're going to designer, it's probably going to be nams.ws forward slash designer. And that is, I mean, we are on calls all the time and affiliate and, and our, our, um, our, our people, our, our customers and, and best customers will often put our affiliate link with nams.ws into the chat so that people um, take advantage of it right away before we do. So short URLs can be really important. Now, the thing about short URLs is, um, we'll talk about this in a little bit too, but I'll bring it up right here. You can easily go to bit.ly.com, or not bit.ly. Um, yeah, I guess it is bit.ly.com, um, or to tiny URL or Google or any of those big third party shorteners, but they're not branded for you. And they are also spam magnets. So the thing about having your own shortened URL is that you are attacking the, the or you are avoiding the spam bots and you are uh, branding your own business that way as well. So control and flexibility, redirect links allow webmasters and marketers control where users are sent even after a link has been shared, preventing link rot. You can use a redirect link to, charge, uh, to change the destination URL without changing the link itself. Links to it don't become broken or rot from degradation. Okay, that's link rot. Everybody understand what link rot is? I want to make sure that we've spent a little time on this. And you understand that because link rot is pretty important. All right, cool. Everybody gets it. Awesome. Thanks, sir, guys. Great. All right. So, is there an easy way to manage redirect links? At NAMS, we easily manage more than 10,000 redirect links with this simple proprietary tool, which I've already mentioned Simple Click Tracker to the rescue. This is what Simple Click Tracker does. Quick redirect links, uh, real-time traffic graph, easy split test. I'm just going to go through these fairly quickly. And Jen, I think we're going to spend a little time actually looking at the tool, right? Okay. Easy split test. Um, conduct A-B split test, easily optimizing landing pages for better conversion rates. All of these things, by the way, that you see here came over the years as we thought we need this, we need this, this would have really help. So we added these things into uh, the business, uh, into the product itself, into the, into the plugin. And we wanted to do it on WordPress, which is really important to understand. This is for WordPress sites. We wanted to do it on WordPress because WordPress has like, I think it's 39% of all of the websites in the world are on WordPress, but also because it's what we use to manage content across all of the niches that we're in. And, um, uh, and, and it's so easy to do that then when you're in your WordPress uh, backend and you can open your dashboard and get right to it. So the other thing about uh, split test is that after a period of time, we thought, well, we see the AB split test thing, but I want to have an automatic split test winner. So I set the parameters in my split test and um, when it reaches those parameters. So for example, if I say, if this one is 5% more than this one, uh, after a hundred clicks, let's just send all the traffic to this one. Or if I've got, uh, and it says AB split testing here, that kind of sounds like it's just two links that we're doing, but you can do as many as you want. So if, you, or if you're split testing between five URLs or five affiliate products or five whatever it is, you can set up five links in your split test and change the amount of traffic that you want to send to, to uh, each of them um, and, and designate your winner. Unlimited customized organizational groups. This is really essential uh, that you, you put your, you, you create your own groups. The groups come blank. You create your own groups for your business and you can easily add groups on the fly uh, so we have probably uh, probably 60, 70 groups that we have some uh, have a lot of our URLs, but we have also figured out that we're using probably 10 more than any of the others, and those are the ones we go to. So um, we talked about short URLs uh, already. You do that with Simple Click Tracker. Social media meta preview. Uh, preview. I'll show you that when we get uh, in the tool a little bit. This is really important because what you want is when you put a picture up on Facebook, especially Facebook, but Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, um, and all of these are, are relegated at the moment to 1200 by 630 size, which is pretty much the ones I just mentioned. Um, 1200 
by 630 pixels. Um, so that when the picture goes up on Facebook and you have a little headline and a little uh, description underneath it, when people click any, any part of that headline, description, or the picture itself, it will take them automatically to the, uh, to the redirect link, the destination that you want it to go to. Timed links to manage promotions and create real scarcity. Now, there's so much stuff in this tool that uh, from, from things that we needed that I'm going to tell a little tell on Jen. I put <laughs> this in here. And she said, this tool does that too? <laughs> yes, it does. Sorry, that made me laugh because I was like, man, I'm like, you've been using something else to do all this stuff with it. <laughs> <laughs> so this has a, um, a system in it to be able to do a timed link, you can set your time and it is in 15 minute increments. It's not uh, not on the, not on the minute. So if you wanted to set a uh, product to, let's say at 1130 today, we're going to switch from a bundle page to a sales, uh, a, a, um, a special um, uh, front end sales page. We could have it set so that the same URL, the same redirect link at that specific time switches automatically. Now, what does that mean? That means if you're doing a promotion and you tell people this is going away at midnight, the price is going up at midnight, and you use that timed link, when it hits midnight, it's going to no longer go to the first page, it's going to go to the second page that you set up. So uh, often people do this for waiting lists kind of things. So for example, if you want to get into the Insiders Club, but you're on a waiting list, or, or but you, but uh, but the but the promotion ends at a certain time, uh, and then it goes to a waiting list. Then the waiting list would show up at the at the specific time. That does a couple of things. First, it builds real scarcity, and the second thing it does is builds real trust. So those are important. Time links are really important, and we created this because um, of our own need. Add users and managers by domain. So uh, if you have users on your team that you want to, you have, let's say you have multiple personal domains. Like I said, I had, we had conversations with dogs and we had um, we had Southern Girls College Football Guide and we had Southern, we had several other, other things. I could go in by domain on the redirects from my dashboard and, um, and assign a user to just that domain so that they can um, be responsible for all the traffic on that domain. Uh, ignore specific IPs for more accurate stats. This was big. And this came about because we realized that um, often a lot of the traffic was coming from our own support team or our own, um, you know, our own development. So we wanted to make sure that we could go in and say, okay, ignore these IP addresses. Uh, and, and it removed them from the tracking to make sure that that was uh, that the traffic would the tracking was actually beneficial to us, more uh, accurate. Bad dead links management. We have a whole system in place for bad dead link management. Unlimited personal domain use. You get unlimited personal domains, like I said, with uh, with this with this um, version. Google Analytics 4. We talked about that. Jen gave you a good example of that. 404 reporting. What is that? That is a, all you, all you gotta do is click a tab on the site and it will show you all of the links that go to a 404 page. Some of them you may not care about, uh, but you probably wanna look at all of them and fix them or send them to a monetized 404. Sometimes a monetized 404 page is as good as uh, wherever you wanted to send them. Uh, drill down stats for domain and link specifics. So you just, Filter your domains and your and your links, and you can get specific information about those. Uh, link search. This is big too. Jen, you want to talk about link search? You struggled with this for a long time. <laughs> I do. I do because the thing that you realize, especially when you're working with the team or even yourself, and you have a memory like me where you can't remember why you went into the kitchen, um, you can't remember what you called something, or you know how you may have abbreviated it, and so what we've done, we mainly have made the link search structure as robust as it is to handle my lack of being able to remember <laughs> what I created. <laughs> or, you know, everybody on the team seems to have a little bit a different way that they create everything. And so it's really yeah. been useful 
to, you know, we can search, you know, exact, we can search, you know, does it have this in the name? We can search the actual shortened link. We can search by URL of the raw link so we can update everything in the back end. So there's a very robust, robust search uh, functionality in the back of the software. Yep. Yep. Okay. Block IPs. So if you get a spam bot, you can block it. And it, and uh, you will see the spam block in the tra spam bot in the traffic graph as well. So you can uh, block that IP quickly uh, so that it does not report in your traffic. In fact, it won't even uh, allow them to click on the link. All right. So this is Jeffrey Doucette. He's one of our um, Insiders Club members. He's uh, he's on all of our calls. And every time I mention SCT, he, he pops in the chat box with how much he loves it. And this is what he said. SCT, Simple Click Tracker, is a money maker for me. How? I manage websites for professionals and small business owners. I use SCT as an upsell as a part of my service offerings. At the agency level, I'm able to create links and track link activity on unlimited client websites. I do all that through one domain name. I imagine, imagine if I had to access each client's account to track activity. Yikes, even Google Analytics is more time consuming to get the numbers. SCT is a huge time saver plus puts real dollars in my pocket each and every month. So um, one of these days, I think we'll probably get Jeffrey to um, to uh, show us how he's using Simple Click Tracker uh, in one of our insiders calls, because I think he's probably doing a really good job here with monetizing it. And uh, there you can turn Simple Click Tracker into an entire business, which is what he's done here as an agency. Now, Remember, we said at that at, that he's doing this as an agency. That's the other thing that you're going to get today with this special live bundle that we're talking about. Unlimited client domains and the agency version. Add unlimited client domains to your dashboard. So not only can you do your unlimited personal domains, you can actually manage client domains as well. Um, you can manage all the redirect links with SCT that you can add and manage your client's links in your dashboard. So, Jennifer, you talk for a second about these. <laughs> so, um, for the agency side of this, one of the great things is going to be that a lot of the functionality isn't just for agency owners. It's going to be for people who want... What's going on there? <laughs> um, it's going to be for people who are wanting to have upgraded marketing functionality in their business. And so the agency part may not mean anything to you. Um, or if you've got clients and you're a consultant, it does. But the three areas of this that are very specific to upgraded marketing functionality are going to be the QR codes, the traffic rotator and the funnel tracker. So let's talk about the QR codes really quick. Um, if you've not been using QR codes in your business, you're probably missing out on some opportunities, especially if you are back to networking. Um, we're or a finding, speaker, or selling from a stage, or yeah. sending out postcards, or any of that. Yeah, and so I'm actually working with a private client right now who is um, doing some work with local clinics, um, like medical clinics and holistic clinics and things like that. And she's just created flyers, little postcard flyers that allow her to put QR codes, which are built right inside Simple Click Tracker, um, that have all the same reporting behind it, so that she can actually just use those QR codes in these doctor's offices instead of putting an actual link right on um, the flyers. And she's really seeing that she's getting increased traffic because everybody knows that they can just quickly grab their phone scan the qr code and go check it out and see what it is that um that you know she's promoting or, or the free offer that she's giving so, so qr codes go ahead i just wanted to say let's not gloss over that part because it's what happens with the qr code from simple click tracker is it has a redirect link that is attached to it so it's the same link you can send people a link or you can send people a QR code or you can give them both as an option. And if somebody takes their phone and, and just puts their camera on it and uh, put the camera on and scans that QR code, and there will be a little pop-up on the camera that says open in whatever your browser is, and you just push that little thing that opens up on your camera, and voila, it takes you to the, um, um, 
to the link, to the redirect link, which takes you to the destination. So it's, it's easy peasy. It's just fantastic for flyers, um, postcards, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you want to talk about the traffic rotator because you're a little bit better about traffic. About sure. The traffic. traffic rotator was also one of those things that we added because we were doing a lot of um, solo ad um, uh, work for a while. And we also had a lot of people who were interested in Simple Click Tracker as a back end service, but they wanted to do some solo ad work. And so we decided that what we would do is create a traffic rotator. And, uh, and what this does is it is one link but you can add as many um, uh, parameters as you want, any as many destinations as you want with parameters. So for example, you list them in order. Let's go back to our five affiliate programs. Um, you list them in order and you can say, I want 100 clicks to go to this one. Then I want 100 clicks to go to this one. Then I want 100 clicks to go to this one. And it will do them in order so that you can um, actually test if you want to on affiliate links or you can sell your clicks as a uh, email provider, if you've got a newsletter that's got a lot of, um, I mean, almost every magazine in the world does this. That uh, if you want to, if you want to send email out to the people on their subscriber list, you can sell. I'll sell you a hundred clicks, or I'll sell you a thousand clicks, and and you can use this rotator to measure that, and then click off to the next thing. So for how that would work is if you have a traffic rotator set up. And you're, let's say you're going to send uh, 100 clicks to Writer's Digest magazine for some reason. You're going to send 100 clicks to Writer's Digest magazine, uh, and that's the destination you are on. Somebody's paying you to do that. Um, and so you get your 100 clicks, and then it will click, it'll rotate to the next URL or the default that you've set up in that rotator. So the default may be it goes back to the MyNAM site or it goes goes over to Forbes magazine or whatever. So that's that's an easy way to think of that rotator. It's a really robust thing. Funnel tracker. This is a uh, uh, this is not your typical funnel tracker. A lot of funnel trackers put pixels on uh, other pages, but what we've done with the funnel tracker is if you put uh, I believe that this is if you put the URLs in the funnel tracker um, you'll be able to track which pages you're being hit. Now, if it's a third-party cart, it gets a little tricky. So you always want to have a thank you page after that third-party cart that can link all of that together. And you want to be specific about where you're sending the track, uh, the um, the traffic to and from, um, so that it's not extraneous traffic that comes in there. Uh, but the funnel tracker is a pretty advanced. Not a lot of people use that. Um, but it's in there for the um, um, for the agency version. Okay, Jen, anything? No, I think we're good on that. All right. So Ellen says I use SCT multiple times a day and several links in each email. Now, if you're on Ellen's list, Ellen is an insider as well, and she does a really good job with uh, what's it called? Change the world marketing. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I use it to track links all in one place. On her emails, she has kind of a newsletter style emails. And so she'll have multiple things going on in one email. And I report the number of links in my emails to inspire subscribers to click. And I love this. She says 250 of your fellow subscribers have already shown their interest, meaning she can look at her simple click tracker and say, 250 people have clicked on this. And I can use that in social proof. And social proof is one of the six main uh, marketing attributes uh, as um, outlined by Robert Cialdini. Uh, and it's really important when people see that other people are doing it, it's like lemmings. They want to do it too. So uh, she uses to create sharing links, use this link to tell your friends. And so she's got sharing links and social proof all in the same email. I use the uh, numbers to tell my partners what I've done for them. This would be affiliates. Um, I wouldn't want to do email marketing without it. So she can go into a, to an affiliate and say, no, I, I sent uh, 300 clicks to this affiliate offer um, so that the affiliate actually knows that she's tracking this. And so she can, and by the way, uh, some people have gone in and said, I sent 300 clicks to this and I know some of the people who purchased are not, uh, I'm not getting credit for their purchase. Would you check your records? 
and they'll come back, uh, and this has happened to us, and they'd come back to us and say, yeah, you know, that wasn't the right email. That wasn't the right affiliate link. You, you had a, a number wrong or whatever it was. And so then we can fix that quickly. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what it looks like. This is uh, the agency version. This is 7.1.4, and we do make updates all the time. Uh, you'll notice here the traffic graph up here. Now, you'll notice the blue line on the traffic graph is the total clicks. This is the unique clicks here in the red. So notice that the blue line up here has got a ton of total clicks, but then it drops to get closer to the, to the red. So I looked at this, and it was over a period of time, and I thought, what's going on here? Well, this was a giveaway. And so people were hitting the site from the same uh, from a series of emails over time and hitting it multiple times. So it was counting as one in the uh, in the red traffic, but we kept track of how, how interested they were by how many times they hit the traffic. So you can see here how, um, uh, how the traffic indicator gives you a really a good pulse of what's going on in your business at the moment. Does that make sense, Jen? Yep. Okay, this is multiple domains uh that we have on the um, mynam site now some of these domains we don't use any longer but they still have the redirects on there and we can and, and it, we can go in and change out the redirects or we can put the sites back up or whatever we want to do but but my point is you can do multiple domains and notice nams.ws is a big one here uh let's see this is the real-time traffic and analytics so um here's the here's the table format of this. You'll notice unique lit clicks, total clicks. Um, unique is that one IP address that we talked about. Only one, it only counts individual IP addresses. Notice that uh, nams.ws forward slash nams gets, uh, had gotten 10,544, but all total from all those people, we've gotten over 112,000. Now that is, um, um, what is it, 10 times? That is 10 times. Um, so people look at that site a lot before they purchase. That tells us a lot, right? They look at that site a lot before they per purchase. Same thing with our Insiders Club. Not quite 10 times, but um, it's five times, okay? Now on the indicators here, we have a duplicate. So you can actually duplicate your, um, can you see my pointer by the way, Jen? Yeah. yeah. So this is a duplicate. Uh, icon. This was was created after the fact because uh, we needed it, and we realized that in our business that the duplicate was pretty important to be able to do things quickly, to make uh, to to go in and change the the, um, the the redirect link to the same page pretty much, because sometimes you want to do that so you have multiple um, multiple sources. You have here the description, the title of the uh, of the redirect, what it is. There's a short link. This I button if you click that it takes you to the page so that you make sure everything is working this is a split test indicator right here this little u icon is a split test indicator this exclamation point means there's a problem with that link so there could be something that you need to go check out on that link and what's happening there uh, it could be a 404 page it could be that it had a some other kind of issue so we need to go check out that page and see what's happening this little um uh, computer screen right here means that it is set up for social media with that social media preview. Uh, the other ones here mean that they are not. When they're gray, they're not set up that way. So what that tells us most of the time is that when it's gray, by the way, this is pretty much a new feature over the last year, year and a half. So of the 10,000 links, we don't have that set up on, oh, I'd say probably maybe 250 of these mm -hmm. have, uh, have social media preview. And we're only doing those as we use those links in social media preview. So if you click on that, it's going to show you what the uh, social media preview looks like. So here it is. This is a, a link that we've clicked on the social media preview icon, and it pops up on the screen. This is the image that's there. This is the URL. This is the title, and this is the description. Click any of that, you're going to go. Okay. Here is the split testing. So you can see that we have two, uh, a redirect that is going to two uh, destinations. 
this one was the winner. It had this many visits, this many results, and results were um, click-throughs to the goal page. So we set up a goal page. Now this is over time, so those numbers have gotten wacky, but um, this was the winner and it automatically selected the winner and moved everything over there, okay? So then we have the traffic tracker uh, ad rotator. This is the one I was talking to you about earlier. So multiple URLs, you can add multiple URLs and then you can see down here, it says add more if you want. So you can do multiple URLs and you designate the number of clicks and you can also, whoops, sorry, mouse went crazy. Um, if you want to send an overage, so if you're a solo ad seller, you always want to send probably a five to 10% overage. Uh, that's kind of a bonus that you give people. You just put in the percentage there and it will send, if you put in 100, it'll send 110. And uh, so you can control all of that with the, the uh, rotator. And as an agency, the split testing uh, rotator and the timed link, which is this one, are all on the same tab, making it easy to, to uh, hit any, any one of those at any time. So the time destination URL, you put the URL it's going to go to in here, and you put the, uh, the date and the time that you want the URL to flip over back to the default, right? So that's the key to this. Okay, that's a lot, Jen. Yep, it was. So we'll go in and look at some so, of the live in a few minutes. But, um, you know, do you want to say anything about these? Yeah, I want to just, I have a, I've been answering a bunch of questions. So that's what I've been diligently doing over here. And so um, you guys are seeing our uh, agency version. That's what we operate off of. So if you're already using Simple Click Tracker and you're not seeing some of the functionality, um, you more than likely are using either the single site license, which is what our Insiders Club members get as part of their membership, or you've purchased the multi-site license in the past. So um, this that we're looking at here for everything that we're gonna show you from here forward is gonna be the agency version since that's part of what this package is. Yep, yep. Okay, so speaking of that, so go through some of this stuff while I go, go to mute here. Okay, so this is a features list and we, um, we run Simple Click Tracker. Sorry, let me mute. Okay. Um, we have got multiple versions of Simple Click Tracker. And um, we do a single site and enterprise. Okay. And oh, yeah. let, me, let me mute you. So that, um, sorry, guys, I can't get to my mute button here. Um, so our single site enterprise version and, and agency. So single allows you to, um, you can do one installation. And to be honest with you, I think over the course of the eight years that we have been selling this tool, we probably have sold less than 50 of the single site licenses because people wanna be able to use this on multiple websites that they have in their business. Um, but with the single site license, you're gonna see, you get, you know, you get quite a bit of options, but you only get to put it on one website. The enterprise version, which is also a multi-site version, that allows you to put um, install Simple Click, Track, Simple Click Tracker on any site you personally own. And um, so you can see here, you do get the, uh, the Google Analytics um, tracking component, which we have just recently updated to be compliant with the GA4. Um, plus you get training on that too, just to make sure that you really understand how to read your numbers and, and all that and how to use it correctly. But you do get this the split tests, you get the bad links, the dead links, and the unlimited personal use along with the time links. But the agency version, that's what we're gonna be talking about here today because the agency gives you two different components. One is if you have clients or you are consulting, um, you're a web developer, um, anything like that, you run traffic um, content for any clients, this is gonna, well, allow you to install this on your clients' websites and allow you to manage all of your clients in the single dashboard that we just showed you a few slides ago. And so if you're responsible for creating the links for them, doing the advertising tracking, giving them traffic um, analysis and reporting, instead of having to go log into every one of your customers' websites, their Google Analytics accounts, 
you know, whatever they may be using for tracking, you're able to do it all within the single dashboard. And you get unlimited installs for your clients as well. Um, but the big part about the agency side of this is the additional marketing features that you're going to get, which is going to be the traffic rotator, the funnel tracker, and the QR codes. So is that what you wanted me to say there, Dan? Yeah. So I want to make sure everybody understands that we had talked about getting um, uh, about the light and the single and the enterprise and the agency. There are four versions of this. And uh, um, you went through them pretty well. There's a ton of features here uh, separated out uh, for each of those versions, and it's um, there, there's a there's a there's a, a lot here. So um, well, and the other thing I too I think it's really important to know is that we are in the WordPress repository. Yeah. That means that we have submitted our plugin, um, and, and this is for our tools, all of our WordPress tools. We have submitted this to WordPress, so they have gone through it and yeah. they have approved it that it meets their criteria for security for um coding code, integrity code quality for all code, of that code quality all of that so um so that way it helps us to ensure and helps you as as you know a user to ensure that we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing that's totally legit with wordpress plugins to ensure your site is safe because listen yeah. like we said we use this tool ourselves we yep. cannot let this tool not work or not be safe or not have um, code quality behind it because it will break my own business as well. So, so I want to give people an, a, um, an example of, of a benefit of this that we did not expect. Um, and it was a disaster. Um, when we had someone backing up all of our website stuff to Amazon S3, and we have everything on Amazon S3, all of our download, all of our product information, all of our everything out there on Amazon S3. And so when she was backing up to Amazon S3, it was a complete accident, but she did uh, the backup and wiped out our Amazon S3 account. And so everything was gone. And that was 15 years worth of work. And so we had backed up stuff on external hard drives and other sites as well. So we had 90% um, of the material. But when we panicked initially and thought, oh my God, what are we going to do? Jennifer had the idea, let's go to our Simple Clip Tracker and export all of our links in Simple Clip Tracker from the database so that we can see where the where the products were, what the products were, what the file names were, where they were needed to be. So we could then load them back into Amazon S3 in the appropriate folders. And all of a sudden, our S3 uh, is back up and our simple click tracker um, uh, didn't have to change because the links were already there set up and everything worked with our nams.ws redirects. And Jen, does that, did I capture that right? <laughs> yeah, because that was a disaster. And it's like what I said earlier about going in and trying to figure out exactly where you have um, put things and you know it may seem like overkill until something like this happens to you but all of our downloads that we put inside our products themselves whether it's a checklist um whether the product itself is a download the link to those products is always a simple click tracker link yep. for this exact reason because we can update it in one place and you know magically if we have had this product in eight different places on our website it's all restored, it's all fixed, and nobody's the wiser. Yeah. Well, it, was, well, and it really only took us about a day and a half to get all that done. We did a lot of dancing, mm -hmm. but it was a huge work to get this done. But without Simple Click Tracker, we would not be here today. So that's all I'm saying. All right. So Kat says, I love how quick and easy Simple Click Tracker allows me to create branded redirect links for my myriad of uses. I can even uh, upload the exact image I want displayed on Facebook. Best of all, if the link uh, destination changes, I only need to update the info in one place in SCT and everywhere I've used that link, it all is automatically updated. I don't, we do not need to um, uh, overstate this importance enough. You update it in one place and you can be using it in a hundred different places out there and it's updated automatically immediately. That is so important. So just make sure that we've got that. And Art said, 
SCT is hands down the best link management tracking tool on the market. It gives you complete control over branding, UTM code, social media image and description, tracking pixels and QR codes. All this using your own domain, amazing. Okay, so do you understand Link Rock and how to use SCT to stop it? Give me a yes in the chat box if you do. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now, with your permission, I want to show you this very special um, uh, promotion that we have today, which is this fantastic offer for you. Um, we're going to do the, we're going to, we're going to get to this in just a second, though. This is our special NAMS agency bundle. It's only available on this webinar today. We're going to talk about all these pieces, the click tracker, simple click tracker, simple video management system, simple auto webinar system, and simple affiliate tools. You may not know this, but we build all of these things ourselves. These are not third party tools. These are not tools that we bought from somebody else. These are not libraries that we purchased over time. These are things that we have built to do specific marketing tasks for our business over the last four, five, six, seven, ten 10 years. Um, simple video management system, agency version, manage all your videos in one location on your site from any host. Change and update videos without editing the pages. This is really important too, because if you have, let's say you have some training videos uh, and you've got them on a page and you've changed your product and you need to redo the training, you just change the video in the back end uh, in the in this tool and it changes automatically on your pages. Think about that. That's really important. You don't have to touch the pages. The video management system will control what they see on the page. You can add more drop down buttons and much, much more with this tool. Uh, buy buttons, uh, HTML, um, all kinds of good things with this. You can manage your client's videos from your dashboard or install a single site version of this on their site. We'd let you do that as well with the agency version of this. So here's 10 big reasons you need SVMS. Video player works. Now I know that that seems obvious, but the reason this tool is had, was created in the first place is because I could not find a video player that worked in all browsers. Believe it or not, that was the issue. It, one would work in in uh, uh, Edge and one would not work in Chrome. And so we ended up wanting something that worked all the time. And that's what we ended up building was a simple video player that just works. It doesn't have any whiz bang stuff behind it. It just works all the time. Create video bridge, page, bridge pages. With this tool, you're able to create create video bridge pages fast with HTML drop down um, buy buttons or continue buttons so that people will see only um, the video itself until it's time for them to take action. And then when they, it's time to take action, you give them an action to take. And, um, and the bridge page works great that way. That's the magic buy button, HTML system. Plus with this, you can also add context below it, text as well as headlines and stuff like that. You could have actually put an entire sales page below it if you wanted to. One place for all your videos. Now, this also seems like something that is um, maybe so simple, it's difficult to understand. Where do you have your videos today? They're on your computer. They're on YouTube, probably. They're on Vimeo, maybe. They're on your Amazon S3 as download, maybe. Um, the only thing that you have to make sure of is that your videos have an MP4 or a YouTube slash Vimeo uh, format to them. So you can have all of your Vimeo videos from all of these different locations managed in one spot. So you load them in one spot and you can always just get to them and not have to go into each one of those and find out where, they're, where they are uh, being hosted. SVMS is not a video hosting system. It is a video management system. Um, there's organizational grouping. Now organization we think is incredibly key. So there's always organizational grouping. So you might want to have videos separated by sales uh, videos, 
by uh, explainer videos, by training videos, um, short videos, um, all of that stuff. So organizational grouping is really important. Creating video galleries. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to have like a YouTube style uh, gallery of your videos, uh, the ones that you wanted to group, for example, on, um, uh, on your pages? And you can do that with SVMS. Unlimited searchable videos. So you can search all of the uh, description content for all of your videos and come up with, uh, by the way, we have, Jen, how many videos do we have now in our system? It's, well, it's I, I was looking on all three sites yesterday and it's probably, I stopped looking. Um, I think we're probably close to 20,000. Gee, many Christmas. Okay. Well, because all of our training, because it, it powers our entire members area. Yeah, it know? does. Right? So over 150 courses and workshops and everything like that, you know? Yep. Yeah. So it's very robust. <laughs> it's very robust. Uh, and you can find things quickly that way. So convert with autoplay. So autoplay is an issue because um, you, there was, people were trying to come up with solutions for a long time to how to um, create videos that autoplay, but don't interfere with uh, a baby sleeping in the next room or something. I mean, people were getting pretty angry about that kind of stuff that you would click on a video, a sales video, uh, and it would just blare at you. What we've done is created uh, an opportunity for you to control that in the back end. So you can make an autoplay, but you can also put a, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, make it clickable so that people have to click the video again to make it play. Uh, and that, that helps a lot. You want autoplay because autoplay converts, but you also want to be able to, to um, give your users a good experience. Mobile responsive. This was a big one. We wanted to make sure that all the videos that we put in were mobile responsive, and they are uh, mobile responsive. So that was a key feature for us. Now, this one is really interesting. With videos, you're kind of limited to what is the story or the TikTok size. Um, uh, in, most, in most other platforms, you're, you're limited to the TikTok size or the landscape which is the standard YouTube size, right? Or the YouTube short, which is also TikTok size almost. Uh, but if you have an MP4 video, you can edit it to any size that you want by cropping it in your video uh, editing tool, and then use this tool, SVMS, to play it in any size on any page. So for example, we had a, um, a kayaker going over a 100 foot waterfall um, purposely, by the way, that was his deal. Um, and so we turned that into a very long and narrow video that ran down one column on the side of the page. And because uh, we could edit it in an MP4 um, to, to uh, do that, um, it made for a nice, long, attractive, and very different video. So SVMS, press plugin, video content delivery, video marketing system, management system for all All your video hosted almost all your video needs that are hosted almost anywhere else. So a Google Drive video does not work in SVMS. You have to have an MP4 or a YouTube or a Vimeo uh, or any of the other type of hosting services like that. So what it is not, it's not a video hosting service and it's not a video creation service. It's not a membership platform. Although you can group your videos to be served in a membership. We do that all the time. So, but it's not a membership platform. Make sense? Now, Liz, Tommy, you guys may know Liz. Liz, I saw Liz posted on um, um, Facebook one day that she had had a problem with her video player and she was just over it. And so I reached out to her and I said, Liz, take a look at this. And so she came back and said, just wanted to thank you so much for simple video management system. I was in a serious pickle with the solution I was using, quit working. I thought I was going to have to spend a lot of money and probably have to pay monthly for a new solution to my to manage my videos and get them on my sites. Now I was paying a lot of money. I was playing about 99 bucks a month for uh, video hosting management, not hosting, video management on my uh, on my sites when I decided to build this uh, because I was so frustrated with that third party solution. You not only came to my rescue with a simple video management system, but also gave me a better solution. This is completely badass. 
It does way more than my old solution did. It's super easy to use. Had my first video on my site in less than a minute, and it's cheaper than my old solution. I 110% recommend this to anyone that wants to put videos on their site. So, Y'all, did I lose him or did you lose him? Or did everybody lose him? You guys will tell me, okay. For SBMS called- Dad, we, lo we lost you right when you went to that slide. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I was, I was really cranking. All right, so I said, when you are doing videos, it's in, uh, you think of webinars. I mean, people are doing a lot of webinars these days, right? But if you've already created a video that is an educational or training video or sales video or any of those things, what we realized was that once you have a video recorded, why not present it in, automatically to your target audience? And why not use the same technology to in, integrate the features into a webinar? And to truly automate the webinars, why not add the opportunity to add custom introductions and sales pitches at the end? So this is a little screenshot here of the add-on for SVMS called Simple Auto Webinar System, SAS, we call it, SAS. Now, uh, it's easy to use and it's incredibly robust. And I'm gonna show you, this is Simple Auto Webinar System. It's a full-time, 24-7, 365 days a year salesperson who never complains, never wants a day off, and never asks to get paid. And it integrates perfectly with SVMS using the same videos. Fully functional with scheduling and email integration. So you drop a short code anywhere on your pages or blog post, and you have an auto webinar working for you. Now, um, this uses the videos that you have in SVMS. This does not work with any other tool. So if you have SVMS, you're going to be able to do this system easily. Yes. And this is not this is not a live webinar platform like what we're on right now with GoToWebinar. This is strictly to set up auto webinars on your website. That's right. Replays. Yep. So what is it? It's a WordPress plugin. It's an auto webinar system add-on for SVMS and you can create an auto webinar from any video you've created or access or have access to um, speaking of which um, if somebody so for example when you're promoting other people's affiliate products and they've done a um, webinar let's say you can get the link to their webinar download it upload it into your svms and you can create an, uh, um, an auto webinar with it so it's it, you auto webinars are to, to be set up to sell all the time so it's not a live, it's not a video hosting service. It's not a live webinar or video conferencing service, as Jennifer said, and it's not a membership platform. So um, this integrates into web pages using SaaS on any page. You, integrate, you can integrate auto webinars using SaaS on any page with a short code. It includes countdowns, schedules, and more. So I wanna talk about the schedules for a second. So it does on-demand, which means you can set the time. So you can set the time to be immediate, or if somebody clicks and registers to, um, so with an immediate, by the way, you may already have these people on your list. So you don't necessarily want them to register for your auto webinar. Now, uh, you, you might as well uh, wanna do that uh, just so you can track what they're watching. Um, but in any case, you have an immediate and the on-demand is a timed. So the, the on-demand means that you register and you can set it up for doing, watching it in 15 minutes or 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour. And usually it's like those 15 minute increments. So you can jump right in in 15 minutes and you'll get a countdown timer until it starts. That's really good because we've also incorporated into this thing um, uh, the opportunity to do what we call while you wait videos. And while you wait videos are things that you can set up as pre-promotion. They, they can be pre, they can be like little commercials until your, until your webinar starts. And then you can change with the uh, post webinar video. So you can actually add different closes or something to that if you want. Uh, different messages at the end. That's for the very advanced and you can do a lot more of that. You can do specific, just easy, on-demand webinars as well. The other one is schedules. 
So you can all you can say, I'm going to have this webinar available every day at six o'clock. And people will register throughout time. You can do promotions for it every day at six o'clock. It opens up. People go to it. They do a, um, a replay and you can continue selling every day at six o'clock. Same webinar. There's a lot of people out there making a lot of money with scheduled webinars. You can manage your clients' auto webinars from your dashboard as well with this agency version of this, okay? So auto webinar solutions are incredibly expensive. Uh, the annual price on ever webinars, $4.99. Webinar Jans, $4.99. Easy webinars, $9.36. Webinar Ninjas, $11.40. Stealth Seminar is $8.39. Zoom webinar is $1,400. Um, GoToWebinar is 1548. Now, Zoom and GoToWebinar, of course, are also conferencing systems that you get with those in recording systems. Now, remember, that's not what this is, but they do auto webinars as well. Uh, all right, so simple auto webinar system is not expensive. It is a 297 price if you start looking at the individual prices on these things. This is an example of an auto webinar. Now, the only thing, this is the other part that I love, and people don't really um, get this so much. This whole thing is just a blog post. That's all this is, it's a blog post. So I used the background, I created the blog post, this, I created this um, set of, of bullets, and this right here is the simple auto webinar system. All it does is drop in your registration and your button. And it has this information as well. So all it does is drop in your, your uh, registration and your button. And then it has your series of pages that are uh, connected into that system so that it goes to your thank you page, your confirmation page, your calendar page, all of those things so that you get the, the basic information you get from an auto webinar system. But this gives you the ability to create, you aren't limited to templates. You are able to actually put this on your site and make it look like part of your branding always. So that's the key to the simple auto webinar system. And let me oh, say sorry. really quick, before sorry, you say, ahead. yeah, let me say we have direct API connections with probably 20 of the top um, CRMs and autoresponder systems. But if you know, you're using something that we don't have a direct API connection with, you can still use HTML web forms to be able to pull all this off, even if we don't have the direct API with yours. And if you have a system that we don't use and you want a direct connection, um, it's pretty easy for our guy to go ahead and create the direct connections on these. And probably if yours is not in, listed in it, in the direct connection, there's a pretty good reason for that. So, um, all right, ready to move on? Yeah. So John said, Having been in software development in one capacity or another for 40 years now, my strong suit is obviously tech and not marketing. SaaS is a very slick add-on for a simple video management system that will make marketing a, a marketing novice like me capable of running campaigns involving videos, webinar replays, and the like super simple. Uh, once you have a recording and add it to SVMS, the SaaS setup takes a matter of minutes, including integrating with your favorite CRM, autoresponder, and creating your registration, playback, and thank you pages. He said this better than I did. You can spend more time making the pages fancy, adding tags for list segmentation, et cetera, but SaaS makes the tech piece as easy as it can get. Great job. Okay, so this is the last one in the bundle. Content is the key to evergreen revenue. And frankly, this can be the hardest part of a successful income stream, unless you use our tools. So these are the type of affiliate marketing content um, pieces that you're gonna need for your business if you are going to do any affiliate marketing. That would be if you have a product of your own that you want other people to promote, you wanna provide them the tools to do it. Those types of tools are email marketing, social media posts, social media graphics, links, uh, lead magnets, tweets, articles, blog posts, reports, signatures, videos, infographics, banner ads, text ads, and links. Now, you will probably not provide them with all of that, but you'll probably provide them with three or four of these at least. I'm going to show you a little bit about that in a few minutes as well, uh, how we create some of these things. So this is called Simple Affiliate Tools, and this is the agency version of that. Now, affiliate marketing, I'm going to say this right up front. If you are not doing affiliate marketing or using affiliates to sell your products, 
uh, you're leaving money on the table. This is how you grow your business with really high quality list. You want buyers and buyers are often from affiliates and you pay affiliates per performance. It's the best sales tools available um, is the affiliate marketing world. So powerful JV tools to add emails, images, blog posts, articles, tweets, and much more with affiliate links embedded. And this manages your clients' promo campaigns from your dashboard. You have to create the content. And we actually have a training for everybody on how to create content fast um, using some of the special tools that we have and some of the tips that we have. And, uh, and I have gotten to the point where I can spend half a day and create uh, about 300 pieces of content really quickly, including email. So we'll go through some of that. Here's the SAT in action. When you go to our JV page, and I'll open that JV page up in a few minutes, all you do is put in your affiliate ID. Now this is JVZoo because this, this one that we're using here for simple click tracker is on JVZoo. If it was Warrior Plus or Pay Kickstart or Thrivecart or whatever, um, that would be what would be up here. So if we choose a different affiliate platform, it will give you the link structure for that platform. So notice, 8633 is our affiliate uh, ID on JVZoo. We've been there a long time. Uh, and when you click set ID, it takes the link for the product and pops in your affiliate ID right here into the link. Now, what that means is once it's set ID, all of these tabs, links, articles, banners, email, Facebook, tweets, videos, uh, let's see, what else did we say out the infographics, um, reports, all these things, uh, we would have that, that link embedded in all of those pieces. And I'll show you that. So, for example, um, this is articles. I clicked on articles here. I have press releases and I have blog posts and I have a show all. And I have a download all. So I can download all of this copy here. It comes with a headline and a description of what it is. So you can see what it is right away. The link is embedded in here. You can't see it in this one, but you'll be able to see it in the other ones in a few minutes. And this has a open and a close button. So you can pick and choose what you want to see. That's sorry. All right. Same with banners. Notice I have a banners tab and I have banner ads, Facebook ads, Pinterest. Um, uh, uh instagram linkedin twitter youtube and show all so this is a twitter uh banner and it shows the size that i i've been i've entered this into the description so i can see the size right away here's the banner ad here is the embed link if somebody wants to uh, use this on their site across the top of their site they put this embed link on their um, blog or website and you'll notice right here is the affiliate link. When somebody clicks on that, they would, because it says click here, when somebody clicks on that, this gets triggered, they get commission if somebody buys, right? Okay. Look at the email. Email, this is the closed version of the email. Notice it says open here. So I've got emails by category. So we have problem solution, evergreen, launch, fear, benefits. I created these categories simply and easily as I input the information in the system. And so it shows up for affiliates, they like to do problem solution, or maybe they wanna create an auto uh, responder evergreen campaign. Here's the evergreen emails for an auto responder evergreen campaign. And then we just have all of these others as well. So we have a webinar, we have a link rot, we have profit leaks, use case scenarios, uh, fear base, launch, all of that. And this is what it looks like on the Facebook post. So Facebook post, you can see the link is here. Now, one of the things I want to go back and show you in the beginning, because this is, this is not my preferred way to do it, by the way, seeing the raw affiliate link here. If you get Simple Click Tracker, you can use your affiliate ID here, or you can use your redirect link here. So you put in your redirect link. So for example, if you took your affiliate link from JVZoo, created a redirect link on in your Simple Click Tracker that's branded to you, 
for example, ours would be nams.ws forward slash SCT. Um, it's branded to us. We would put that in here and we would not see this link. We would see nams.ws forward slash SCT. That protects your links and also makes it look a lot more professional um, and a lot less affiliate like, right? Now, this yeah. download yeah. button, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, Jen. Well, I was going to say, and I'll give you just a quick little like pro tip here is once you've put all this effort into writing all of this content and creating all of this content for your JVs, doesn't mean you can't use it. And right. so when I go to promote products that we've created content for, for JVs, I go in here, put my redirect in my own installation of Simple Click, I mean of um, SAT, download the copy, and then I go edit it up just a little bit so that it's in my voice, but it still has all of the features or you know the storylines or whatever it may be and so that's just a little pro tip for those of you who are going to install simple affiliate tools and still want to be able to use all this great content that you're providing yep. for your affiliates yep. okay so tweets um we find that twitter actually does really well for us so there's uh, i think there are 20 tweets in each one of these threads so we created threads that are specific topics and there are 10 threads, so there's 200 tweets in here. And I can download them all into an uploadable uh, automation system and run them all into Twitter or X, whichever you want to call it. Um, so this is just a really, I mean, it says download all, it's not just download this one, it's download all. So um, this is a really robust tool. And then of course you have videos, when with the video embed link that you see here below, this this got squished a little bit. It's not that not that uh, uh, horizontal. It's, it's standard size YouTube video. Um, you get this embed link, you put it on your site, and you will have the video as well with this call to action below the video. So um, you know, it's um, pretty dang nice. All right, so that's what SCT does for you. This time, this stuff is really important. If you're going to be creating products, you've got to provide people with the tools. Kevin Fahey said, the, and you probably know Kevin Fahey. Kevin is one of the top marketers on Warrior Plus, especially right now. Uh, he creates great PLR products and uh, has he's really a uh, high integrity guy. We love working with Kevin. The most unprofessional thing you can do is ask other marketers to promote your product and not provide them with the necessary resources. Without email, swipe, spanners, or other resources to help with my promotion, I usually close the JV page and look for something else to promote. It was super easy to promote the last product you released. I was completely blown away by the tools and the resources you provided. They make the promotion easy and profitable and set an example of how things should be done. So we love getting that from Kevin. So here's what this bundle is. Simple Click Tracker Agency 7.0, complete redirect management system. I won't go through all of this again, but the value on this, if we sell this outright today, 297. Simple Video Management System Agency, Complete video management system, a lot of material there for you to look at. Value is 297. Simple auto webinar system, agency version add-on, unlimited auto webinar management, 297. Simple affiliate tools, I think this shows you how to, to um, so this is uh, unlimited content management, unlimited client use, unlimited promotional campaigns, unlimited affiliate platforms, unlimited affiliate links, and evergreen revenue enhancement on this. Now, it's also 297. But before we go to the next thing, I want to make sure that you understand what we've done here. We've given you the infrastructure for creating and controlling your content in the SET, for uh, monitoring, doing the analysis, making the redirects that really pay off for you. Okay? So that's SCT at the agency version and you can create a business with it under that the agency version then you have simple video management system which is all about video which helps you create video content deliver products a lot of your products are made in video if you're doing digital marketing in any niche so uh, a lot of your products will be in video it helps you deliver video including training including sales including courses all of that uh, for yourself and your clients Simple auto webinar gets into the marketing piece of it. So delivering 
Uh, you can use Simple Outlook Webinar, by the way, for delivering training as well if you want to, but it's really built for marketing so that you can actually make more sales with that tool. And then Simple Affiliate Tools is to get more people to promote you. Traffic is the hardest part of building a business. So using these WordPress plugins as foundational elements for your business, you're going to be able to really create the kind of business that you want as fast as possible. Now, this may seem a little bit overwhelming, but it's four tools. You're going to master each one of these tools one at a time, and you will have a real business running that you can not only do for yourself, but for your clients as well. Okay, Jen, you want to say anything? Well, you probably have noticed too that all these tools can be used together as well. And yeah. so that's one of the, the great things about um, WordPress bundles like this is they all are gonna work with each other um, in a way to be able to make your life easier, to help you make money, to help you save time. And that's, you know, like we said earlier, we built these for ourselves for all of those reasons. And these tools do that for us every single day. Yep. Okay, so are you ready for this now? I mean, you've seen all of these tools so far. You've seen what we're offering in this bundle. And if you wanna see what the price is, which you're gonna be blown away by what we're doing here, just type yes in the chat box so we can uh, show this to you. I just wanna make sure that you're excited about this and wanna see the price on this. So I'll okay, they, wanna, they wanna see it. You don't have to say anything else. There's okay. like a list. Of yeses here, so okay, that's good. Here. <laughs> All right, well, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's coming. Okay, all four products sold separately are eleven eighty eight, two ninety seven each. So that's eleven hundred and eighty eight dollars. Now that's a lot, and it's worth every nickel of that. But what we're doing today is really special. We are offering on this special webinar offer a dime cell on this. Now, you know how dime cells work. If you don't know how dime cells work, let me just tell you quickly. You start at a low price and with every cell, it goes up. So you're gonna to wanna to click the link below uh, to make sure that you get the best price you can. And remember, because this is a very special webinar bundle offer, you're not going to have any annual maintenance fees on this. It's a one-time payment. So Jen, do you have anything to say about that? I don't think so. I mean, I can't believe you twisted my arm to give this product away for this for this yeah. uh, low rate, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. And it's a very special deal. And the reason is because we believe in this foundational product set. We really believe this foundational product set is really the thing people need to build on their business. If you've got a WordPress site or if you want to have a WordPress site, this is the way to go. So uh, whether you're a newbie, and you want to start out correctly or whether you are an experienced marketer and you want to build more revenue for your clients remember this is all agency all agency all four of these are agency so with the dime cell the price goes up every time uh, somebody purchases so you want to make sure that you click the link below to get this as fast as possible so Linda Sterling says, I use Simple Click Tracker and it's one of my top five tools. Now, Linda is special to us because Linda is a book publisher. And so when Linda puts links in books, this was one of the, the best ways that we knew to prove Simple Click Tracker and the redirect system was so valuable for her. So she says, as a writer and publisher, knowing I can put a link in a book that can ultimately be changed if necessary without having to redo an entire book or have a dead link is invaluable. Think of that. That means that she can publish her books with links in them. And if the if the affiliate product or if the training or if the recommendation for somebody else goes bad, all she has to do is flip it out, never touch the book. The book is always going to be updated and correct. That's the value of Simple Click Tracker alone. And Amy says, I love SCT. It has saved my bacon on several occasions and is, is, and is an invaluable part of my business arsenal. One area where I have used it is in my Facebook ads. I literally can be in the middle of a campaign and swap out the sales page midstream without anyone being the wiser. Such a time saver. So Jen, tell how that works a little bit with the in, a, in an ad situation like that with Simple Click Tracker. Well, sure. So you know, if you've ever run Facebook ads before, you know that every little tiny change you make means that your Facebook ad has to go back into review. 
And so when you use a redirect, let's say that maybe your sales page isn't converting as well as you wanted to, and you wanted to um, switch from a long form to a short form sales page. You can just jump right into your simple click tracker dashboard, edit your, your destination link from a long form sales page to a short form, and Facebook doesn't know that you just made a change. And so no more taking your ads down, waiting for them to get reapproved with any changes that you make. And you guys may know when you're doing your ads, having consistent long-term traffic on them with this same URL um, without taking them down and making a ton of edits, you know, in theory is supposed to help the algorithm, whatever it may be. Of course, it, nobody really knows, but, um, so it's great to be able to test your offers this way without having to go through the uh, review uh, process with Facebook. Okay, that's great. So then we had Terry Loving here said, I'm so grateful for NAMS and the amazing SCT tool. Over time, Simple Click Tracker keeps my links organized, numbers tracked, and me motivated to promote more. The simplicity of creating the links, watching the numbers, and being able to rapidly change URLs when necessary makes marketing so much fun, so much easier and fun. So Terry has a WordPress business and she uses these tools all the time with her clients as well. So this is really a great opportunity for people to build your business. Randy Booth says, I've been using SCT for over a year. It has been extremely valuable to my business. I receive regular updates via my WordPress dashboard. It's 100% reliable. All my various social media links are tracked and grouped for easy reference. The learning curve is near non-existent as it is very easy to learn. SCT is a must have link tracking website redirect product for any online business. So remember, you're getting four products all four agency products, simple click tracker, simple video management system, simple auto webinar system, and simple affiliate tools. All of these are WordPress plugins that we built from the ground up. There's no third party, there's no, pla uh, there's no special um, buy it and repackage it kind of thing. This is all our stuff that we built for our own business and it works in our business and we will always keep it updated for our business. As an agency bundle buyer, you're getting the updates for this without annual payments. So you get this, this is fantastic for you. You wanna jump on it below. So remember, it's a dime sale. So if you are hesitating, the price is going up. So make sure you click that link below. I think we got it. Yep, I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna sit down and start dealing with all these this shit and go from there. Go to the gym. All right. Now I'm not going to the gym. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the car wash and I'm gonna go home because it's getting late in the day. Okay. It's all right. Well, I've went through this entire okay? what? <laughs> Everything's okay. Yeah, uh, Chad's messaging me now too. They've just run through and tested everything in the funnel and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, I've sweated through my whole shirt. So I'm gonna go change my shirt and try to deal with all these people. Okay. All right, talk to you later. Adios. Bye.